What is the Andromeda Paradox? Well, the Andromeda Paradox is the fact that if you and I are looking at Andromeda two and a half million light years away, then what happens is, suppose you're sitting in your chair and I'm running by. And at the second I run by you, we both look up at Andromeda. Because I'm moving and you're stationary, we're going to see events that are days apart, even though we're in the same location looking at the same time. How can that and be? you think that relativity. And you think that the Don't light just say arriving, relativity and keep talking? How far? Know, right? Wait, in this <laughs> scenario, how far away from me are you when you're running by me? You're in the same me? place. We're in the same place, essentially. So I've you're never, like literally I've running. I've never here. heard of this paradox. And yeah, you look right, up. It's a little known paradox. And right? the thing yeah. that you see and I see are days apart. Days because apart. Because of our physical perspective. Be well, that? here's what you would think. You would think the light is arriving right now. We should all be receiving this light, but that's not how it works. Motion changes the perception of time. So how do you define what now is? So we even don't though you're in the same, same place. Time. Even though you're in the same place, yeah. While we're sitting here, I'm here, you're running by, yeah. we look up at the drama at the same time, yep. and we're seeing location. something from the days, location. from the yep. same location, yep. essentially. We're seeing things days apart. Days apart. And yeah. that leads to the idea of what is now, and your now and my now are two different there nows. No now. There is no now. No, now there is now. There's no, always now. There's an there illusion of be. now because we're so close together and we're so small. The speed of light makes it feel like we have a now, right? But now doesn't really exist on larger scales. There's no such thing. If I had hair on my neck, it would be standing on edge as I see the depth to which he was connected to the operations of nature.